Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seward Family. I'm Ivy, thank you so much for joining us. Happy, happy Friday. And thank you for tuning in for another Friday Mommy Moment. And if it's your first time here, stop what you're doing. Just stop, okay, stop. You do not have to be a mommy to enjoy this moment. All you need is a moment, okay? So if you're still here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. I'm so glad that you guys are here. The first thing that we do on Fridays is Friday shout outs. I think I said it wrong. I be like, whatever, we just gonna go. All right, don't be like that, don't be like that. I have messed it up now. We about to do these shout outs. <laughs> Today's shout out is going to simplyk.simone. And the reason I am choosing simplyk.simone, she helped me look at a situation totally different. When I tell you the excitement that she had to help get me to a milestone, to help be involved in this channel, and then even after hitting 1K, still being involved in my daily day, even if it's a share of something on my page, a like, a comment, something positive and uplifting. And that is rare nowadays. She wasn't somebody who started at YouTube in the beginning with me. This is somebody that I met along the journey. And her excitement and her joy is not just for me. Her excitement and her joy to help push and motivate and inspire people is all through the YT streets. And I know if you're not familiar with that, that means the YouTube streets. And it is amazing and that speaks volumes. Even when I go and I'm watching her do something and I don't even comment yet when she's live and she's talking to people or I'm somewhere else and I see her into the room, it's an awesome presence. And I'm like, man, if this girl is faking, she's been faking for a long time. It's not, it's authentic. And it's so authentic that it's rare and it stands out. And I wanted to thank Simply K. Simone for being her. She allows people to know that, you know, we're not perfect, but we all should be uplifting one another. We all should be embracing one another. And she's totally funny. Like, she's just awesome. And I know it might be some people who might throw a little salt your way, but I wanna let you know, keep being that sugar sugar and make it ring, ring, ring. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is it for the Friday shout outs going to Simply K. Simone. Now let's get into this topic. You guys already know, y'all saw it in the intro. I got my coffee, and yes, I got this from the Dollar Tree. Y'all know I love the Dollar Tree, y'all know I love Walmart. This cup was only a dollar. I love sales, we got five kids plus my mother. Mm -mm, nah, we ain't about all that spending money like, mm -mm. discount, 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 yep. You, 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 come on. Anyways, grab your coffee. Grab your drink, whatever it is that you need, your snacks, whatever it is, and come enjoy this topic with me. See you over there. Go ahead and get the coffee. I'm about to click it, go ahead. All right, let's get right to it. Have you guys ever heard that one bad apple can ruin the bunch? I know I'm not the only person that's ever heard that. You heard of one bad apple can ruin the bunch and sometimes it does even in my life i allow that word i allow one bad apple or two to ruin the entire bunch and i don't want to be that way going into the new year i don't want to be that way after making this video like right now i don't want to be that way because when i allow the two bad apples or the one bad apple to ruin the entire bunch i lose and those apples they win because I allow the toxic foolishness that they're spewing out to overshadow all the other goodness that's taking place. I don't want to do that. I would rather take those apples, trash it, and enjoy all the other crisp, juicy, refreshing apples that's in that bunch. You see, sometimes the rotten apples know that they're rotten apples and they know that their job is to ruin the bunch. Their job is to say, hey, look at me. I don't like you. Hey, look at me. I think that everything that you're doing is crap. Hey, look at me. Over here, it's me again. The rotten apple. It's me again. Their job is to get your attention. Their job is to distract you. You see how I'm talking, but you're probably looking at my hands because that's what the rotten apples do. The same as the enemy. 
the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And when he destroyed, all the bunch is ruined. But you know what? I'm choosing to win. And I want you to choose to win. We have so many great things in our bunch of apples. So many great people there. But when the rotten apples come, it's like, man, because they're acting so ugly and because they're acting so rotten, it makes me feel like everybody is against me. And it's not that. It's just this small little portion right here. But you know what happens if you let small contamination get into everything else? Everything will become ruined. And next thing you know, all the apples need to be destroyed. No longer am I given the power to the negativity of one bad apple, two bad apples, ruin the bunch. Absolutely not. I am not going to let these two or those three or however many apples, when they decide to lift their head and poke their heads and open their mouths into my life, ruin all the good that God has got going on in my life. I'm not gonna let them outshadow, you know, my husband who speaks positivity into me, my friends who speak positivity into me, and let these bad apples come and tear me down with just one bite. Absolutely not. I'm strong. God made me that way. You're strong. God made you that way. Don't overlook. Don't overlook, and I'm gonna say it again, don't overlook all of your greatness in the bunch of fruit that you have in your bag of apples because of the rotten apples decide to peek their head. As we take this journey through life, those bad apples will continue to come. And when they come, let them come and let them pass. You always have one. You might be like me, have two, three, four, or five, I don't know. Who knows? But today, right now, as we get ready to enter into the holidays, into the new year, Bad apples, you lose. I'm gonna win. You're gonna win. Stop giving credit, stop giving space to those bad apples, to that negativity, to that darkness. Leave it in the darkness, leave it being rotten. Do not let the enemy distract you from what God has placed for you to be doing right now and taking you into your season. Notice that rotten apple, but notice all the rest that's in your bunch that is straight holding you down, that is pouring into you, even if it's one or two in your bunch, they matter. Those rotten apples don't matter because what you gonna do with a rotten apple? Throw it away, they are not gonna last long. Let it go and be disposed of, but don't let it dispose you. So that's what I had to come and share with you guys today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We are not gonna let them bad apples ruin our bunch. Until next time you guys. Oh, this is my last Friday mommy moment until Christmas. Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, happy holidays to you. I pray that everyone continue to be safe and continue to be positive. I will see you guys next Friday. So until next time, stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people like who? Like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soren Seward Family Channel, you are always needed. Until next time, great people, peace out. Woo.